that takes it out of you. But you gotta practice. I mean, you need a good way to call for help when you need to. And nothing beats a trusty old war horn. It worked for my ancestors. It still works today. I mean, cell phones don't work anymore. I mean, it's a freaking blasted wasteland. Do you see cell towers out there? Think Apple's still pumping out the iPhone, you know, 54? No. Nothing. You gotta use what you gotta use. And then simple is better. Um, speaking of simple is better, this movie, uh, Troll Hunter. I, I can't say enough good things about this one. Uh, this one, it comes out of Norway, um, and there's already talk about an American remake because America has to remake everything because typical American audience, well, we can't handle the subtitles. It, it has words. We're just supposed to watch the pretty pictures. But I won't get into that right now any more than I just have. But um, this is it's a fantastic film. It's, it's done um, pretty much... You know what, what is now known as the Blair Witch style, um, and it's basically the story is these college students they're, they're for, filming this uh, documentary on some bear poachers, and they end up, um, end up uncovering this great conspiracy that there are trolls in the uh, the wilds of Norway. Um, there's this gentleman Hans who is played brilliantly by uh, Otto. Uh, with his Jespersen or Jesperson, I'm screwing up the names. I hate doing that, but he he seals every scene he's in. He is great. He is fabulous. Everyone else, you know, they're they fill their roles just fine. Um, and uh, the trolls. Oh, the trolls. I love the trolls in this. It is these are the trolls of, of like actual mythology. Um, not you know not that I'm I'm gonna you know badmouth you know every troll. I mean, different people have their different visions of trolls, but. This is where trolls came from. They came out of Scandinavia, and this is this movie portrays them the way that trolls really are. How what they look like. I mean, they're not these. It's hard to describe. You need to see them to believe them, and it's just the way they portray them. It is brilliant. Um, so I I can't as I said I can't recommend this movie enough. It's it's just a lot of fun to watch. I love the the just Norway as the setting. I mean, gosh, I want to go. It's such a beautiful country. I. It boggles my mind that my ancestors, at least I'm part of my family, left Norway and then said, hey, let's go to North Dakota. It's just as cold as some parts of Norway, possibly we're from, but it doesn't have all that, what's it called? Oh yeah, all that beautiful scenery and oceanfront property. Um, so the settings are gorgeous. It's, it's just a beautiful country. Um, at least the parts we get to see. I'm sure it has its ugly spots too, like everywhere else in the world, but beautiful. One of the other great things, um, much like the Blair Witch, there's no music. The only music you ever get to hear is, is what's playing on like car radios and stuff like that. It does a lot to set the, the scene, you know, the, especially, you know, when they're out looking for the trolls and stuff like that. It, it sets the scene so beautifully because there isn't a soundtrack to real life. There's just whatever sounds are around you. You can hear the sounds of like the trolls moving around. You can hear people breathing and it's 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 real. Um, that's one of the things that makes this movie so good is that it's it's portrayed in a in a very realistic way. Um, I also like the fact that while being the Blair Witch style, the, the the shaky cam as it's called isn't quite as shaky. I mean I don't didn't have to sit there and constantly try to find some point to focus on because my guts are churning upside down, because it's constantly like this, you know, and it's, you know, it, it's shaky when it has to be, and it just, the camera work is brilliantly done, um, and it's just, it's a fun movie, it's, it's, it's got just the right amount of humor, it's got a great amount, like, kind of, kind of like, creepiness, and just the whole kind of fascination with the unknown, um, so I would definitely recommend this to everyone, you have to see this, and see the original I mean, I'm not seeing the American remake if and when they do it. It's not going to be good, but see the original. Always see the original. Whenever they do a remake, go out and see the original. So on a scale of 1 to 10, oh, this is the, one of the better movies I've seen in a long time. So I would say this is like, oh, God, this is, this is oral sex at a buffet during a Lord of the Rings marathon. I mean, it, it is just... Oh, it is great. I had so much fun in this. I loved it so much. Um, so go out and see it. Um, go out and see it. And uh, I'm actually going to go out and uh, see you right now. If I can't find myself uh, a couple of the trolls out there. I got my 
nice little specs here and my work gloves and uh, gonna hunt trolls. It's always good to have one of these. Till next time, stay safe.